towards the first corner. Rasmus Jensen of Denmark makes a great start, but what a first! Oh my goodness! Yeah. Jason Dorr coming through. Battered into Rasmus Jensen as he just exits the corner here. And well, yeah, yeah, I mean, Rasmus Jensen has absolutely no chance of staying on his bike, so uh, I think maybe a reasonably clear cut decision for the referee, I'm not sure. Well, I think that Jason Doyle is in grave danger of being excluded for that. Mm. Um, takes the front wheel away. We are waiting the decision. The referee's looking at these replays that we can see now, um, taking his time, but. So we are hearing that Jason Doyle has had a reprieve. All I think four he didn't back. He consider himself very lucky. All there. four back. And um, uh, not universally liked that decision, but uh, nonetheless, um, uh, referee determining. Green lights on. Keeps up and we're underway. Lambert's made a really good start from gate number two. Superb effort from him there. Certainly Mickelson now gets swallowed up. Certainly up the inside. Dole's made a great fist of it. Look at him smartly around the outside. Robert Lambert pushing wide. Very wide indeed. Now smartly switches back to the inside. Straight lines. Files himself to the front. Robert Lambert. Can he replay the compliment down the back straight? No, not quite. And all of a sudden, Bartos Smarslik and Poland are back to winning form. Now, all of a sudden, he puts his head down that uh, distinctive start of Smarslik. Breathtaking move. Well, Josh Smarslik, he knows how to win gold, and that's exactly how he does it. What a move from him. Absolutely superb stuff up the inside. Robert Lambert had made such a great start as well. And uh, we were talking about Poland not winning races. Well, they're going to win these two on the trot. And they're not getting any last places either. No, they're not. Great Britain hanging on, though, in second place. Doyle out the back, that disappointment. That was so good last night. Bartos Smarslik out of the last corner. What a ride. Fans are loving it now. It was subdued in the first four races. Very subdued. Very different now, though. After failing to score last time. Here we go, then. Tapes up. Doyle's made a great start from gate number two. He hits the front. Ty Wolfenden electing to go very, very wide in that first corner and relegates to the back. Matze Janovic coming through into third place. Anders Thompson there hanging on in second place. This World Cup, you just can't predict it. Wow, it's uh, fabulous out in front. Now Doyle here hits the front. Oh, it's gone wide, overlooks the bike. That allows Anders Thompson through. Can Doyle straight line? Yes, he can. Wonderful speedway right here. Unbelievable there. Doyle's gone Thompson jumping back to the inside, bars himself back to the front. Oh, that's all the tight Doyle's done well to hang on. He has, and Anders Thompson oh. has got that bite hooking up, but Jason Doyle's coming back at him. Anders Thompson has to get out of the way. He knows he's got to, otherwise he's going down. And now Janoski's joining the party up the inside. Doyle has just cut him off there. And now Anders Thompson, can he get a run around the outside? Jason Doyle now under huge threat from Anders Thompson. Doyle's ridden so well here. It's been a fabulous speedway race, no doubt about that. And Jason Doyle in Australia, he hangs on. Denmark in second place. These two teams were out of it earlier on. Now all of a sudden they're dominating the speedway World Cup. And tense times, everything to race for here. In Vlogsland in the Olympic Stadium. Away they go. Lambert's got there, Rasmus Jensen battling with Jack Holder. Jack oh. Holder off, nasty. Yeah, awkward crash. Got off very difficult there. Awkward crash for Jack Holder. Nothing giving there in the first corner between him and Jensen. Um, uh, let's hope that Jack Holder's OK. He got thrown over the high side there and landed heavily. Got thrown quite high there. Mm. Tough racing here. And um, uh, with everything to race for, no quarter given going in the first corner, that's for sure. No. And um, uh, as I say, we just hope that uh, Jack Holder is OK. He's being attended to. We'll see it once more. Yeah, he comes off gate three here. He's got the bike working. He's trying to get across there. And uh, just overlocks the bike. Well, I, it's, it's, I think it will be all four. I've got to be honest, I think Jensen it will, will be all up four. Here a bit. He does straighten up a bit here. Yeah, he does, um, and it's obviously he does clatter into to Jack Holder. Jack's made a decent start, tried to come across. He's put himself in that position. Ooh. Oh, really awkward-looking crash. I've got a feeling how the referee has been so far in this tournament, he may, because there was contact, he may put all four back in, um, because there you can see Jack's trying to come across and 
yeah, we're hearing it's all four, and I think that's probably the correct decision, but uh, really, really awkward crash there for Jack Holder. Oh, almost gets tangled up in the bike too. Let's hope he's OK. Yeah, it goes down hard on his wrist. I think Ginson's lucky, actually. I think a lot of referees would have yep. put him out for that. Yep. Um, but uh, as you rightly say, it's all four back. Jack Holder will be replaced by Chris Holder. Do you copy that after injury? So, yeah, Phil Morris just confirming that news. Bitter disappointment for Jack Holder. Those back-to-back -back heat victories for Australia in heats 9 and 10. Oh. Excuse me, 10 and 11. Yeah, no question, um, uh, that's that, what's brought Australia back in. Yeah, and that was a catalyst for them. They've been uh, really well and truly amongst the action since then. What a long pause that was. Charge into the first turn, Madsen gets there. Bartos Smarslik electing to go very wide. Max Frick there in second place, Smarslik now. Coming through, Willie, round the outside. Commits to it through turns three and four. Madsen's in front, he was mightily quick. Last time, Bewley's at the back. And here we go now with Bartos Smarslik once again electing to go very wide indeed. Madsen under pressure from Smarslik. Smarslik going to throw everything at Madsen here. Madsen oh. was a winner last time out. He's out in the deep stuff. This is what we want to see from Bartos Smarslik. Hanging on to the gas there, even though he was right in the berm on the fence. What a cutback. He's up the inside. He's coming through. Wow, what a ride from Bartos Smarslik. Fans on the feet once again. Runs wide. Coming out of turn four. Leon Madsen trying to repay the compliment. Certainly there. Dan Bewley now coming through into third place. Madsen again on the inside. Oh, my goodness, what a speedway race we've got here in Heat 16. One last blast through the last corner. Bartos Smarslik sensational out in front. And they close the gap once again to Great Britain. Could easily be a race off here this evening. Tapes up. Underway, Maxson's made a good start off gate number yeah, one. Oh, Bewley. that was an untidy run there with uh, Jaime Litchi getting shoved out of the way. Bewley ran the outside of Smarzik, that's very important indeed. Smarzik now trying to respond, but Madsen's in front. Bewley coming through into second place. Bartol Smarzik hanging off the back of the bike, straight line to the corner, up into second place. Bewley now reads it, back up the inside. Beautiful speed wave from Dan Bewley, but Smarzik, you know it's just going to oh, get absolutely back. everything here. Yeah, I think that was a bit of a mistake there from Dan Bewley as he jumps back. But Smarslik using that little bit of grip off the fence to shoot himself into the corner. Leon Madsen doing fine work there out front for Denmark. Possibly not going to be enough for them, but here comes Smarslik again. Unbelievable speedway here in the Speedway World Cup. Leon Madsen out in front, Bartos Smarslik has had to ride so hard. Bewley now up the inside! Where did he find that from? It's going to get tight through the last corner. Smarslik responds, slams the door shut. Leon Madsen, what a ride, and Bartos Smarslik. They lead, they lead going into the last race. Heat number 20, Lambert's made a great jump. Oh, superb stuff from the outside, from Frick as well, from Australia. They fire themselves to the front, but Lambert's in the second place. Handy here, could get very tight and did it remains like this. It could well be a runoff for the gold here this evening. Janoski's generating speed. Frick's out in front, Robert Lambert electing to go right round the inside and follow him. Janoski going to the back now with Thompson coming into third place. Oh, this is going to get tight. Janoski's riding out wide. We haven't seen too much of him doing that. I'll tell you what, Robert Lambert's now looking for a way for... Oh, he's going to get pinned down on the inside. Gets awfully close with Max Frick and Janoski is right behind him. Indeed he is, Max Frick there, out in front. Janowski trying to get round the outside of Anders Thompson, and he has to do so if he goes oh, to a race on. Janowski now on the inside! Oh, Poland! Poland looking like champions now. Max Frick down the back straight. Can do Robert Lambert do anything about it? Matt say Janowski's going to make himself a hero. Here we go. And Poland are world champions. Unbelievable scenes here in the Olympic Stadium. Euphoria around the stadium. Incredible speedway meeting. And Matsa Janowski, who's had such a difficult time, gets the better of Robert Lambert there. Heartbreak for Team Great Britain. You've got to feel for them. Truly remarkable scenes. And uh, Anders Thompson.
just out the back. I'm just That's looking out of our commentary window, the Polish fans all hugging each other. What a celebration it's going to be here tonight. Heartbreak for Great Britain, but Poland, unbelievable. I don't think... I've got, I've got no voice left. I, mean, I, need, I need to lie down. I do, I do indeed, but crikey, what a night of Speedway. Many, many congratulations to Poland. It has been a nervous night.